Look up at the night sky, it's dark, almost empty. But with trillions of stars in the universe, shouldn't the sky be ablaze with light? This isn't just a poetic question, it's a scientific mystery called Olber's Paradox. Back in the 19th century, astronomer Heinrich Olbers asked a simple yet profound question. If the universe is infinite and filled with stars, why is the night sky dark? Shouldn't every line of sight end in a star, lighting up the sky like the surface of the sun? Let's break down the paradox. Imagine you're standing in a vast, endless forest. No matter where you look, you should eventually see a tree. In the same way, in an infinite, static universe, every direction should eventually lead to a star, making the whole sky brilliantly bright. But that's not what we see. So, what's going on? Here's what solves the mystery. The universe isn't eternal. It had a beginning. The Big Bang. Around 13.8 billion years ago. Light doesn't travel instantly, it has a speed limit, so I can only see stars whose light has had enough time to reach me. Plus, the universe is expanding. That means light from the most distant stars is stretched, red-shifted, beyond what my eyes can see. Put it all together, and the sky is mostly dark. Not because there aren't stars, but because I haven't had time to see them all. But here's a bonus insight. The sky isn't completely dark. If I point a radio telescope at empty space, I pick up the faint hiss of the cosmic microwave background, the ancient afterglow from the birth of the universe. Olber's paradox reminds me that even the darkness is full of meaning. The night sky isn't empty. It's a time machine, showing me the limits of my visible universe and the echoes of its birth. If you find wonder in the silence between the stars, hit subscribe for more deep dives into the strange beauty of the cosmos.